Hello friends in the previous episode i have shown every possible details about gajal doba tourist hub if you haven't seen it then follow the links given in the description box below today from gajal doba tourist hub we are going to tilattama tourism resort at telabari and on the way i am going to say interesting aspects about duwas duwas is all about three t's t tourism timber The long procession of women are carrying tea leaves behind their backs. ये क्या है आपके पीछे? चाय का पत्ता है. चाय का पत्ता है. अच्छा. जाइए. The main industry in the Duwas region is the tea industry. Thousands of people are engaged in the tea estates and factories. Apart from tea industry, several people are also engaged in the cultivation of betel nuts and they contribute to the economy as well. On our way to Tilabari, we have deliberately stopped beside a tea estate, seeing the tea planters working in the tea plantation area. The Duwas are an expansive alluvial flat plains covering some 900 square kilometers of land in the eastern and northeastern parts of India which lie south of the outer foothills of the Himalayas and north of the Brahmaputra river basin and can be approached either through North Bengal that is northern part of West Bengal or Assam Hold on for a second and listen to the unique distinctive sound of the jungle. I'm sure those who have already visited Dubas must have heard this sound of the jungle. The elevation of Duwas area ranges from 90 meters to 1750 meters. On its western boundary flows the Tista River and on its eastern boundary flows the Sankosh River. And in between these two rivers there are innumerable rivers and streams flowing through the fertile plains from the mountains of Bhutan. In northern West Bengal, the major river is Tista, besides Torsha, Jaldhaka, Murti, Raida, Kaljani, Sankosh, among others. In Assam, the major rivers are Brahmaputra and Manas. The Duwas region politically constitutes the plains of Kalimpong district, the whole of Jalpaiguri district, and Alipurduar district, and the upper region of Kuchbihar district in West Bengal, and the districts of Kokrajhar and Bangaigao in Assam. The Duwas once belonged to the Kamta kingdom under the Koch dynasty, but weakness in the Koch administration led the entire area to be possessed and controlled by Kingdom of Bhutan. After the Bhutan War of 1865, the British took over control of the Duwas and split the area into two parts. The eastern part was merged with Gwalpara district of Assam, while the western part was turned into a new district named Western Duwas. After the end of the British rule in India in 1947, the Duwas acceded into the dominion of India and it merged with the Union of India, becoming part of West Bengal in 1949. It is the Western Duwas, the part that belongs to the state of West Bengal, which attracts a lot of tourists from India and abroad, offering great wildlife sanctuaries and parks, endless
beautiful stretches of tea gardens and wonderful viewpoints combined with well organized tourism infrastructure. As the Duas region is near the international borders of Bhutan, Nepal, and Bangladesh, the Border Security Force, the Central Reserve Police Force, and the Indian Air Force maintain a strong presence in the area. So, my friends, I have told you in a nutshell all that you need to know about Duas. And now we have arrived at Tilottama Tourism Resort at Tilabari. The resort offers a number of sports activities, badminton, chess, carom and cycling. In the reception lounge at night, the accommodation for the drivers is provided at present. The resort is big enough for the number of lawns, gardens and statues. Moreover, the resort also has an in-house museum which is interactive and informative and therefore very useful and interesting to the young children. The big premise is colourful and verdant with the varieties of trees and shrubs and with long large sound trees forming a canopy across the expanse of the resort. Tilaktama Tourism Complex has a huge parking lot. The bookings of the cottages are only done through online. There are four types of rooms available in the Tilaktama Tourism Resort. Every cottage is spacious enough with all modern amenities. For price details of the cottages, see the description box given below the screen. Our cottage has been named as Wooden Cottage where we are supposed to stay for the night. The restaura is at a bit distance from the cottage but on request, foods have been served in our rooms but with additional 5% service charges. Now let me show you the inside of the cottage. We have been told by the hotel boy who was carrying our luggage into the room that if luck favours us then we could even see elephants crossing down the road from the window of our room. We have arrived at Tilottama Tilabari Tourist Complex. We have in particular booked this cottage as this is the only wooden cottage in the entire complex in the sense the interior walls and the floors are all made of wooden panels. As far as the behavioral conduct of the hotel staff is concerned, they are friendly 
and compatible and try to rent a helping hand if any kind of problem arises. One can also enjoy jeep safari to the Gurumara forest while staying at this place. This is the conference room of the resort which is to some extent in a disheveled condition due to lack of usage at present. This portion of the resort belongs to the outer part of the kitchen room. This room is adjacent to the spacious dining hall. This is the kitchen room which is neat and clean and spacious. The museum inside the Lokthama Tourism Resort gives a lot of knowledge and information about different species of birds, reptiles and other wild animals. What is more interesting is that the tribal music always plays on as the background music in the museum. The big chess board in the lawn is an interesting part of the resort where children and young people can make proper use of their grey matter. Here we are seeing a game of chess where the children are up against their father and manage finally to win the game.
After having lunch, we have decided to visit nearby places of interest. At first, we are going to visit Matabari Tourist Complex, which is also an undertaking of West Bengal Tourism Development Corporation. Matabari Tourism Property is just about 3.5 km from Tilottama Tourism Resort. For online booking of Batabari Tourism property, contact the website of West Bengal Tourism Development Corporation. Batabari Tourism property is well designed and has AC cottages. It is comparatively smaller in area than Tilottama Tourism Resort. It has also artificial manicured gardens unlike the naturally formed jungle with big salt trees that we have seen at Tilabari. For price details of the accommodations, see the description box below the screen. Gurumara Forest is 3 km away from this resort. Having seen Batabari tourism property, we are now going to Murti Bonani Resort which is an undertaking of West Bengal Forest Development Corporation. We have arrived at Murti Bonani and let me take you inside the premise. This is the main building of Murti Banani and the entire premise is just located beside the Murti River. The property is maintained by West Bengal Forest Development Corporation. There are three types of accommodation at Murti Banani with different prices. For room rent details, see the description box below the screen. The accommodation is available only through online booking. For online booking, contact the website of WBFTC. What we feel is that the maintenance and the get-up of this forest resort could have been improved a lot. The location of Murti Bonani is simply awesome. The advantage of this resort is that one can book safari rides from the front desk itself. We have also been told that the resort also organizes tribal dance programs in the premises twice a week one on Thursday and the other on Sunday.
We are back at our result. This is how Tilaktama tourism resort looks at night. It is beautifully decked up with lights at night. The natural ambience of Tilaktama tourism resort is no doubt calm and serene. But the management needs to pay proper attention to food quality and quantity to sustain the tourist flow in the resort. A word of advice, you may take it or leave it. As far as the food is concerned, Indian foods are more or less palatable. But as far as Chinese food is concerned, they are not up to the mark in taste. There is one incongruity which we couldn't understand properly as to why they charge extra additional 5% for room services apart from 5% service charges. On asking the staff about it, they said that they don't know the answer themselves quite well and they are accustomed to charging like this. We have stayed at Tilaktama Tourism Resort just for a night and given you every possible details of the resort. If you have liked my presentation, don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel Exploring with Travelholics. So bye, see you soon.